it is a very interesting question to find out what is the best way to remember product and quotient rules so if you look at uh, those uh, famous uh, calculus books uh, such as Stuart calculus Thomas calculus or Briggs calculus and you probably see have seen uh, this formula for example for the product rule uh, we remember uh, the product rule in the prime notation like this fg prime equal fg prime plus gf prime and if you look at the quotient rule uh, you're going to see something like this uh, so quotient rule going to be uh, f over g prime equal g f prime minus f g prime over g square and when you look at these two forms and you can see that uh, that's one one major thing we notice one has a plus sign one has a minus sign so that's true and then when you look at the other terms and you can see that um, these terms like a uh, gf prime is over here and the gf prime is over there and also we take the derivative of the second term so there's a question why we take the derivative of the second term rather than the first term uh, and then so and then you can see that so it's like there are a lo lot of complication here uh, there's no like nice pattern here so what we're going to do we may we slightly change those terms and um, try to write in like a much better way so that it is very easy to remember so that's the goal so we're going to we're going to rearrange the terms so that it is very easy to remember for example let's make these changes so in the product rule it is so natural to take the derivative of the first term so the first term is f so that means we can write this formula as f prime g and then g prime f so you can see uh, it is it is very natural when you have a product you take the derivative of the first term and then we write it like that uh, switching the terms and also you may wonder why there is a, a plus sign here so the plus, there should be a plus sign there cannot be a minus sign there reason is you can see this is a product in a product it doesn't matter which one you write first so this is like two times three equal three times two so because of that since you can change the order so there should be a plus sign because it doesn't matter which one you write first now the benefit is when you look at the quotient rule you're going to see the same two terms but now with the minus sign so that is the benefit that's the main benefit of writing in this form so you see the exact two terms but now with the minus sign so let's look at the quotient rule now rule we can write this one as exactly like before we take the derivative of the first term so we can write this one as f prime g minus now g prime f why there's a minus sign and you can see when you have f over g you know that you cannot change the order so the order matters that means it cannot be a plus sign it should be minus sign and then also we can see that this is the exact same term as before it's the exact same term as before but only with the minus sign now so it's very easy to remember it's the exact same but with a minus sign uh, and then also we have extra term now we divide this one by g squared and you can see in this form it is much easy to remember it says exact same term plus sign go with the product rule minus sign go with the quotient rule and we notate the derivative you take the derivative of the first term and then multiply by the second one so it's so natural when you remember it like that that means you combine so this is the uh, product rule and this is the quotient rule and you can see in this form it is very easy to remember so it's the same term exact same term but one with the plus sign and one with the minus sign and you also know why there should be a plus sign and why there should be minus sign and also we're going to make one more change i mean it's not a change you can see in most of the textbooks we use this form we normally do not remember the product rule and quotient uh, rule using the f and g we don't do that what we normally do is we remember use uh, these using the uv function that's the most common way to do that and it also makes sense because when you learn more math and we use uh, what they call the um, uh, chain rule uh, the uh, integration by parts formula when you use the integration by parts formula it is very easy to remember uv form because that's what we use so using the uv form we can write this one as uv prime equal take the derivative of the first one multiply by the other one and then switch the order so v prime u again for the quotient rule it is u over v prime so you can write this one as again take the derivative of the first one multiply by the second one and then minus sign v prime u over v squared so you can see 
if in this form it is very very easy to remember those two formulas and this is the easiest way to remember the product and the quotient rule so uh, let's put everything in uh, in one so for example the first one is the product rule and you can see that we use a uh, plus sign for the product rule and the second one is the quotient rule and we can see that we use a minus sign for that so this is how we remember the product and the quotient rules thank you